Why would God create the hominids? Well, uh, as part of that question, of course, I think is embedded the idea that these hominids look an awful lot like us. And so if they're not transitional forms, why would God create these creatures that look so much like us? Well, uh, it's very clear to me that these creatures are like us in some ways, but they also are distinct from us as well. Humans and Neanderthals, for example, show a whole host of anatomical differences. Uh, humans and Neanderthals show developmental differences that are rather significant. And we even show genetic distinctions between humans and even, and even creatures like Neanderthals. So yes, they are like us, but they also are unlike us as well. And I would argue that the similarities that are displayed between humans and the great apes, between humans and the hominids, reflect common design, not evidence for common descent. And I would actually turn to Genesis 2 uh, to, to uh, begin to justify that perspective. Genesis 2-7 tells us that Adam was made from the dust of the earth and that God breathed the breath of life into Adam. If we go to Genesis 2.19, it tells us that God created the birds of the air and the beasts of the field from the dust of the earth. But interestingly enough, they do not receive the divine breath. I would argue that they do not receive the image of God, the Imago Dei. That's something that only human beings receive. But yet it also is telling us that physically, that biologically, we're made out of the same stuff as the animals. We're made out of the same raw materials. I would argue we're made from the same templates, the same design features. And so the similarity between humans and other creatures reflects, again, common design, not common descent. And in fact, it's interesting, prior to Darwin, uh, the, the theoretical framework to interpret shared features among organisms, that is homologous features, was developed by Sir Richard Owen, who employed archetypical biology, where he argued there was an archetype that existed in the mind of the creator that was functionally manifested in the created order, accounting for homologous features. And so, again, even in the history of thought, when it comes to biology, people were interpreting shared features as reflecting common design, not common descent. And there's a biblical undergirding for viewing the shared features in living organisms in that way. So I think that's one way we can make sense of why these creatures look like us. So often we tend to emphasize their similarities, but there's also very real differences that we see. In my view, the biggest differences would be behavioral in nature where it's very clear that even creatures like Neanderthals lacked advanced cognitive ability, lacked the capacity for symbolism, lacked uh, what we would call theory of mind, that this is, these are properties unique to humans and properties that align with what we would think the Imago Dei to be.